All righty. Good day to all you glorious Rascalian Resonators. You absolute legends. The name's Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Weathering Waves. And in today's topic of choice, we are going to break down an idea that actually came from one of our Discord members that brought up about pretty much variety of weapons. And I have a little bit of a different perspective on it that, you know, this actually got me a different thought process of something that I would actually like to see in Weather and Waves. So if you're interested and you want to hear the topic, you know what to do. Just sit there, relax, kick your feet up at the bar, grab yourself some cola drink, and let's dive right into it. First and foremost, I want to give credit to Mel from the Discord server, new member that joined up in there. And what they actually presented, you know, got me to thinking about this topic. So let's read what they have to say. Not going to lie, I think Weather and Waves would, prob would probably do better if they took a page from Black Desert and not limit themselves on weapons, but give us more of a variety. I would like to see, you know, a two-sided blade poar. And they gave us, you know, a little gif, a little picture, yes. a little gif right there of the animation of the poar from Black Desert. And, yes. you know, it got oh, me nice. to thinking in general, because I do believe that future-wise, there is like Kuro Games is going to cook, right? And I'm pretty sure they're going to introduce a new character with a new weapon type. But that's not going to be until way down the line. That's not, we're probably not looking at something like that until we hit like close to 3.0 or later, you know, in Weathering Ways, when they're going to introduce something brand spanking new that's going to be like its whole new archetype that's going to be able to, you know, break or make the game at that point. However, talking about weapon variety, I would actually prefer, I mean, I think it's a good idea, you know, to have more weapon varieties that you can give to different weapons. If I think this is what Mel is getting at, and if I'm wrong, Mel, you can correct me in the comments section below. But I think what Mel's getting at, you, you know, they would like to see, you know, like Jian or they would like to see Chang Li be able to use different types of weapons, not just limit themselves on a certain type of weapon, but have a different variety of weapons they can use. And I think that's a great idea. Don't get me wrong. I think that's a great idea. I think you could actually create like a hybrid character that could use, you know, either the broadsword or the short sword, for example. You could have someone who can use the, the gauntlets or guns, and that would be something like a hybrid character that would come along the way, and that would be pretty cool. You know, that would actually be something to where I would say you could do like a mixture of even their elements, like fire and ice. And if they have an ice weapon, the ice weapon has to be, you know, a gun. If they are going to be using fire type, the weapon's got to be, you know, a gauntlet. Something stupid idea like that that I just came up with off the top of my head. But what I was thinking about other than that, that would be... I think pretty cool and would honestly give more of a personality, an expression, if you would, to players would be instead of just, you know, weapon variety types, but animation variety types on weapons. Because, like, for example, we can already, you know, talking, you know, four star, five star weapons, five star weapons in general. The reason why you go for a five-star signature weapon on a character is because it changes nine out of ten times, it seems like, the character's entire play style. It changes their kit. This weapon's going to make it to where they have, like, you know, if this is Chang Li's weapon, and it's going to make it to where you can do additional damage after you get a stack of 14 in flame and blah, 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 uh, crit damage. If you do enough heavy damage, you get, like, an additional 200 crit. And it kind of changes the play style of how that character is. However, if I put a four-star weapon or a five-star weapon on the character, really the only thing that changes is, you know, looking at the weapon on the screen. Like, let's get out of flaming here. Boom, da. And then you see with Chang Li, she is going to be, you know, you see the sword. That's basically the only change you're going to see. If I use a four-star weapon, it's going to do the same animation style, and it's just going to show me at the end of the combo, hey, this is the weapon I'm using. This is the skin. But 
think of it like this. For an expression type, if you were able to go ahead and put in weapons that actually not only change the, the kit, but could change something completely different, like a different animation, like, you know, most characters has a basic four hit combo by mashing the square button or on your screen like this. What if a weapon would add like an additional hit or, you know, would change the attack speed of something and it would make the combo that you're doing different you know give the characters more variety in the terms of how they play you know maybe this short sword that you, let's just say for example you get this five star short sword that works for chang li and this sword in all honesty it hits much slower the combo you can see you know it acts like a broadsword but the but you know it changes the animation style to where it does like a bigger hitbox and it makes it to where instead of her going into the air she stays on the ground and you see like a different ending now this is something that is just perspective that i would not expect to see anything like this you know now i would not expect you know kuro games any time in the near future to produce something like this because i am sure that that's a lot of fucking work just to create those type of animations and make it you know work with the character because right now the animation is all based on the character but telling the character hey look here's your new animation because you have this type of weapon you have this new broadsword which will give will unlock you know instead of a four hit combo now you got a six hit combo or now your combos are much slower but instead of you know doing a strike down like this a cross strike now you're going to be i don't know doing a single strike i don't know but the idea behind it is that you know you do different builds you do different weapons and you know it would help to the expression of the character in general it's the same weapon type but the difference is, is that the animation behind it you know the effects and everything else but mostly the animation behind it would also be different maybe you might like it for the look of it maybe you might like it because you know instead of a four hit combo it's a six hit combo i think that that plus even the idea that mel's presented you know a variety of weapons in general like these are ideas that could potentially you know to stern and make you know web on waves more you know hey this is not genshin impact okay because still to this day we got a lot of people out there that just compares this so much to genshin impact that i believe that in kuro games you know they are going to fix things in general and things are going to get better and things are going to get you know bigger they're going to get you know ramp up very fucking fast we just gotta let them cook but, you know, I'm just thinking of things that, in general, you know, what could Kuro Games do? And this was one of the greatest, one of the good ideas that I wanted to talk about. And I give full credit to Mel on this because I think it's actually something that potentially, if Kuro Games would look into it, that it could actually separate an identity crisis that Weather and Waves is having and make it very much more unique. Because, I mean, you think about it like from an Maybe MMO that. perspective. There is some weapons out there that you get that's the same exact type. Oh, I'm going to get this short sword. I'm going to get this broad sword, whatever. And you put it on your character. This sword does something completely different than the last sword. And you can actually visualize it. You can actually see it on the Maybe screen. That. You know, maybe even make it to where, you know, like, hey, Chang Lee, you know, gets a sword that actually will allow her to do glacial damage along with fire damage. And you'll see the glacial visual effects from the hit straight from it. You see what I'm getting at? Hopefully you do. But I, I'll go put it like this. I think I've taken up too much of your time as it is. We're going to get up to the 10 minute mark. And I don't want to keep you all here for, you know, just stupid conversation. That doesn't really pertain to anything, just, you know, ideas. But, you know, if you are, you know, listening and you got interested and you're thinking about it yourself right now, leave a comment down below about your thoughts about it. You know, what in general do you think? Do you think that Curl Games could look into, you know, spicing up the variety of weapons in uh, Weather and Waves? And if so, 
Give me your ideas. Do like Mel. Give me your ideas. Pop it down in the thing, and I'll tell you what. Maybe later on we'll make a video, whatever, if there's a good idea out there. And you don't mind. I'll screen cap your comment and put it up and make a video about it. Alrighty, so if you like the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you dislike the video, you know what to do. Hit that damn dislike button and fucking leave some goddamn criticism and tell me I'm a goddamn moron if you want. Either way, whether you give me positive or negative feedback, it is appreciated. And there is some other things that we are going to be doing in the future. We're going to be discussing that in a live stream soon enough. And yeah, thank you to, thanks to every single one of you guys for, you know, showing your support, coming to the channel being part of the channel commenting all this good stuff it's been fantastic and i tell you what keep it you know real keep it classy keep it jazzy and i promise i will go ahead and i will catch you on the flip side peace